Alright guys, so in this next section, we're going to be constructing the inscribed and circumscribed circles of a triangle. Uh, before we get into showing you how to do it, let me just give some motivation for, for it. So let's take a look at this triangle here. And how many circles can you think of that would touch all three vertices? I'm sorry, two of the vertices of the triangle. So let's take, let's focus on vertice B, or vertex B and vertex C. How many circles can you think of that touch those two? So let's start, let's just start drawing some random ones. So here's a circle that touches both. Uh, let's do another one in a different color. Okay, so there's a couple circles so far that touch both B and C. Um, and you, it turns out that you can draw infinitely many. So they just have to get bigger and bigger. And they'll go ahead and touch those two vertices. So let's entertain a different question, though. Let's see... Let's see how many circles we can draw that touch all three vertices of the triangle. So if you try to do that, it turns out that there's only one such circle. So I'll just do a rough sketch of it here, and then we'll actually go ahead and draw it on IXL. Okay. So this circle touches all three vertices of the triangle. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing in this section is drawing these types of circles. Um, this, is, this one is called the circumscribed circle. Circumscribed circle. Um, now there's another type of circle we can consider. So let's, let's draw some rough sketches of that one also before we start constructing both of these. So I'll ask it in the same way. How many circles can you think of that touch in this case, though, the sides of the triangle. So how many circles can you think of that touch both sides of this uh, triangle here? So here's a circle right here. That circle touches only two sides of the triangle. Uh, we can draw another one, like over here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, that touches the two sides of the circle and is completely contained, sorry, the two sides of the triangle and is completely contained inside the triangle. So notice that both of these circles, they exist completely inside the triangle. No part of the circles are outside. Okay, so we got, we've drawn a couple here. Um, and you can do something similar that we did with the last one, which was you can draw progressively larger and larger circles as long as you kind of move away from the vertex. So here's another one, right? So you can draw infinitely many circles that touch two sides of the triangle and are contained entirely inside the triangle. But there's a, exactly one circle that you could draw that is contained entirely inside the triangle and touches all three sides of the triangle. So just a, a rough sketch, it would look something like this. Well, that's pretty bad. Let's try again. So something like this would be that circle. And this circle has a different name. This circle is called the in-center. I'm sorry. The center of the circle is called the in-center. The circle itself is called the inscribed circle. So inscribed. And one way you can distinguish this from the other one is we say it's inscribed, so you could think of it as being entirely contained inside the triangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the IXL and see how we're going to construct these. So it turns out that you have to remember how to do some other constructions, and it's been a while since we've done them, so this is a good section to kind of review some old, uh, some old constructions that we did at the beginning of the year. Okay, so what I did is I skipped all the way to a smart score of 96, where they actually ask you to start from scratch. Uh, the reason I did that is just so you can see the whole process from start to finish. And then I'll go back and do it uh, from zero. And I'm going to go ahead and do every single question from zero all the way to 100, because I find these kind of hard. So I think 
and you guys will benefit from that. Okay, so this one is asking for the is asking us to construct the, inscri the inscribed circle of triangle ABC. So remember, the inscribed circle is the one that is contained entirely inside the, cir inside the triangle and touches all three sides of the triangle. Now, it turns out that the old construction that we're going to need to do this is called the angle bisector. So what we're going to have to do is remember how to construct angle bisectors. So let's construct the angle bisector for, let's do angle A. So actually let's do angle C because it's a little, it has a shorter side. So that's gonna be better in terms of the, the picture. It's not gonna be too big. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle whose length goes from C to B and we're gonna center it at C like that. Okay, then what you do is you take the circle tool again and you go to the two places where that circle touches the sides BC and AC. So we're going to come over here to the point B and we're going to draw a circle whose radius goes, whose radius is the length of the distance that the circle touches the two sides of the triangle. So let me just point that out because you can't actually see it on IXL when I do it. So this, this dotted circle that I just drew, the radius is from this point B to this point here where this green circle had touched the two sides of the triangle. Okay, so now that you know how large that circle is, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna center that circle at B, like that. And notice that it intersects at that spot over there. So that's the radius. From B to there is the radius. OK. So, so, so we're still not done drawing the angle bisector. So we're going to have to take a second circle. And we're gonna, it's going to be the same radius as the one that we just did, except that we're going to plot it or we're going to center it at that other intersection right there. Okay, so let me just delete this original first circle that we drew so it can look a little bit more clear. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the line tool on IXL and you're going to connect the intersections of these two circles. So they intersect up here at the top where I just put that light blue dot and down here at the bottom where I put that one. Okay, so that's an angle bisector. If you notice, it cuts the angle C in half. So there's angle C down there, and the blue line that I just drew cuts it perfectly in half. Okay, so what we need to do is draw a second angle bisector so that we can figure out where it intersects this first one. And that way we can pinpoint where the center of the inscribed circle is. Okay, so let's do this one Let's do this one from B. So we're gonna do we're gonna construct the angle bisector for angle B. So we're gonna draw a circle centered at B, whose length, whose radius, sorry, goes all the way out to C. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the two places where that circle intersects the sides of the angle B. So I'll just highlight that in red really quick. That's going to be right here, right? So this is this is the side of angle B, and this is another side of angle B. And the blue circle intersects intersects the sides of the angle right there and right there. So at, where those two green arrows are pointing is where we're going to draw the other two circles. Oh, and the radius is going to be, the radius of the next two circles is going to be this length between those two green arrows. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take a circle. It's going to be centered at that light blue spot that I just put. And uh, it's going to have a radius. Well, sorry, not there. Hold on. So from here, whoops. Okay, let's just undo that. Okay, there we go. So. 
a circle whose radius goes from here down to C. We're going to plot that there. And then same size circle. So from that point up there that I just marked with a light blue dot down to C again, except that we're going to center it. What happened? Yeah, we're going to center it at that point. Now those last two circles that we just drew, which are pretty large, those are the two that you're going to look for their intersections and draw a line between. So those two giant circles, they intersect at this point over here on the right that has a light blue dot, and at this point all the way on the left that has a light blue dot. Okay, so that line that I just drew, let's erase the circles. So if you delete these circles, you can see the only thing we have left are the two angle bisectors. One of them is the angle bisector for C, the other one's the other the angle bisector for angle B. And they meet at a specific point right here in the middle that you can see highlighted in red. Well, hold on. You can see highlighted in red. No, it just deletes it right away. Anyways, it's right there in the middle. You can see it. So that happens to be the center of the inscribed circle. Okay, now this one, this one kind of takes a couple more steps to construct because we need to find, like for example, let's say you try to draw the inscribed circle from, from that center and out to this spot over here. It turns out that it's too big. So what we need to do is we need to find the perpendicular bisector uh, oh, sorry, we need to find a line perpendicular to this, to the in center that goes through one of the sides of the triangle. So let's delete this circle and I'll show you how to do it. So, what we're going to do, and this is also a construction that we did in the past, is, is, but it's been a while. So, again, this is kind of a good section because we get to review all these old constructions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to that point in the middle that we're interested in drawing the perpendicular from. And we're going to center a circle there who's, who intersects the, one of the sides of the triangle at two places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a radius out to B, the point B, and I'm going to center it at the in center. So what we get is this circle. Here, let me write on there. So... What we have is this circle that touches the side AB at this spot and at this spot. Okay, so that circle touches in two places. Now, that's not the inscribed circle, but we're going to need this one to be able to find the inscribed circle. Okay, so let's delete this. Okay, so what we do now is we're going to take the circle tool and you're going to create a perpendicular bisector using those two points of intersection that I just uh, highlighted for you. So circle starting from there. Wait. A circle centered at that point that goes through there, centered at B, and a circle with the same radius but centered at the other spot. OK, so let's delete this first original circle that we drew so that we can make some space. So now we have these two circles. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the line tool and draw a perpendicular, or we're just going to connect the intersections of the two circles. So up here on the top left, and then down here, I think I'm going to have to zoom in because, see, it got the wrong spot. So let's try that again. So the line tool, and we're coming from this spot. Nope. Nope. Yeah, so sometimes you choose you choose to create like the angles you choose matter. Maybe I should have chosen A because all these dots would have been much less close together. Um actually you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, so let's pinpoint the center. The in center was right there, and I'm gonna delete the two angle bisectors that we had. So that way we have less clutter and less points of intersection. So all I need to do is draw a line between this intersection and this one. There you go. Okay, so that line, that line is perpendicular to BA. 
side BA of the triangle. Now we can finally draw the inscribed circle. So what we're gonna let's let's go ahead and delete these two circles that we have, all these points of intersection. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the in center. We're gonna draw a circle whose radius goes from the in center out to where that perpendicular line that we just drew touches the side of the triangle. It's right there, and we're gonna center it at the in center, right there. And that's the inscribed circle. Notice it's, con it's contained entirely inside the triangle and it touches all three sides of the triangle. Okay, so let's submit it just to make sure. Nope, got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. I'm not sure what happened. You can see that it looks just like the one that we drew, so I don't know if I picked like a bad spot or something. How long is this video already? Mm. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you can see how many steps there are to do this. Like, look at the IXL explanation. It's really long. And then after you get the two angle bisectors, they, they drew this circle that we did. And then they have to draw that third line, which you can see there that they draw. Yeah, so I think what happened here is that I just chose, I chose to do the angle bisectors of these two angles that are really close together, and I may have chosen, like at some point I didn't choose the correct dot because they were too close together, so. Okay, so let, let's do another one. Let's go back over here. Let's see if we can find a, circumscribed example this time. Okay, so this is inscribed. This is circumscribed. Okay, so let's do this one. This one's different. This is that this is that circle that touches all three vertices of the triangle. Now, this one luckily is a little bit easier because well, you'll see. There's a couple of less steps. So the last circle, the inscribed circle, that was associated with the angle bisectors. This circle is associated with the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle. So what we need to do is draw the perpendicular bisector of a couple of sides of this triangle. All right, so how do we draw perpendicular bisectors? You're gonna take the circle tool, go to one of the points on the circle like A, draw a radius out to C and center it at C. And then you're going to take another circle, center it at C, going out to A, center it at A. And when you connect the intersections of these two circles, that line gives you the perpendicular bisector of the side CA. Okay, so when we construct one more, so let's go to, let's focus on side BC now. Go to side BC, we're gonna do the similar thing. Construct a circle centered at C, construct another circle centered at B, center that there. And then we're gonna take the line tool and connect those two intersections. Okay, let's delete the circles. Now where those two perpendicular bisectors intersect, which is at this point right here, that is the center of the circumscribed circle. And at this point, it's easy to construct the circle that, um, to construct the circumscribed circle because all you gotta do is take the circle tool and go from that center out to any of the three vertices because remember what we said about the circumscribed circle is that it, it touches all three. So we can choose any one we want. So let's just go to A over here. And we're, but we center it at the circumcenter. And there you go, you have the circle touching all three vertices. So this is the circumscribed circle. And you can leave all the rest of the markings if you want or you can delete them when you submit. Okay, so let's see if we got this one right. Yeah, okay, we got that one right. Okay, so let's try, let's try one more time on this inscribed circle. Um, okay, so remember inscribed circles are associated with the inter intersections of the angle bisector. So we're gonna to have to construct angle bisectors. 
this time, let's construct the angle bisector for angle B and for angle A. Those two vertices are further apart, so maybe we won't have all the clutter that we had on the last one. So let's start with B. So we're going to construct a circle centered at B. And we find these two points of intersection. We get this intersection and that intersection at C. Those are the two places where we're going to draw two new circles. So let's do that. Okay, so take the circle tool. We're going to start from one of those points of intersection, radius out to C, and you can center it at C, and then same radius again from C to that point, and then center it there. You can go ahead and delete the first circle, the larger one, because we only need to find the intersections of these most recent two circles. Let's zoom in a little. So right here and right here. Okay, so that line is the angle bisector for B. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the angle bisector for A. So I'm going to take a circle centered at A. Let's go out to C. Okay. And now what two intersections are we going to use? Let's write it out. That circle that we just drew intersects the sides of the angle A at that point and at that point. So at those two spots is where we're going to center two new circles. So let's go back. <clears throat> so new circle starting from there out to C. We can center it at C and then from C back to that point again and center it there. Okay, let's delete this, this big circle. We don't need it. Okay, now we take the line tool and we're going to connect the two intersections of these two circles. So one here and then one down here. And there seems to be plenty of space. So we're not going to choose a wrong dot. Okay, so now we have two angle bisectors. We got the angle bisector for A and the angle bisector for B. And now we have this point where they meet in the middle inside the triangle. That's the in center. So that's going to be the center of the inscribed circle. Now, unlike the circumscribed circle, where all we have to do is choose one of the vertices, we have to choose a specific spot on one of the sides. So let's see if we can be wise this time about which, which one we choose. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of everything except the center. So that right there is the in-center. What we have to do is draw a line perpendicular to one of the sides through that point. So what you do is you start by drawing a circle who starts from that point, radius out to B, let's say. We're going to center it there. So um, sorry, I should state the goal. So what we're, what we're trying to do is I'm going to draw the perpendicular line through the side BC. I'm sorry, BA. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to the point through BA. So I'm looking for this kind of thing. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. So again, the first step was draw a circle centered at the end center that goes through two points on that side BA. So you can see the two points. It touches actually right at the end and another one right here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and draw the perpendicular. We're going to draw a line perpendicular through that point. So we're going to take the circle tool and we're going to go from this point of intersection up to B, draw a circle, centered at B, and then same size circle from there to that same point, but this time centered at the other intersection point. And just take the delete tool, just get rid of this circle in the middle. And we're going to connect these two intersections of the two circles. And you can see it goes right through the in center. And now the way you choose how to draw the circle is you draw a circle starting from the in center and going to that point that our perpendicular line touches the side BA, which is right next to it on the left right there. But of course, you're going to center the circle 
at the in center right there okay so let's hope that we got this one right I think this one was a little bit neater okay so submit yeah there we go okay I'm gonna cut this video short oh no actually let's go back and let's do all the let's let's redo it but starting from where because I did those from scratch those are the hardest ones because that was all the way up in the 90s what we're gonna do here is just show you really quick what they want you to do when you start at zero basically they've done everything for you at this point all you got to do is draw the inscribed or the circumscribed circle so okay so <clears throat> notice that it says d is the circumcenter triangle abc that means you already know where the center of the circumscribed circle is and for the circumscribed circle all you got to do well sorry since you know that it touches the vertices all you have to do is draw a circle starting from centered at d out to any three of the vertices let's choose a this time but you're going to center it at D. Okay, so that's a circle that touches all three vertices. And that's the circumscribed circle. Okay, so submit. Let's see what this one says. This one says DE is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay, so you can already tell we're talking about per perpendicular bisectors. You should be thinking that this is associated with the circumscribed circle. And you can see at the end of the sentence that it says construct the circumscribed circle. Well, they've already constructed two of the perpendicular lines for you. That means that this spot right here in, with the blue dot where the two lines intersect, that is the circumcenter. So all we got to do from that point is draw a circle centered from there to any of the three vertices. Let's go to A. But obviously you got to center the circle at the circumcenter. And there you go, that circle touches all three vertices. <clears throat> okay, so you can see this drawing is much more complicated. This is because this one they're drawing an inscribed circle. So it says D is the, the in center. Now, notice they already gave us the in center. Okay, so that's good. That means we don't have to do any of the angle bisectors. It's already given to us here. Um, now, if you remember from the two previous examples we did, not only did we need to find the in-center, but we had to find a spot on one of the sides of the triangle that intersected the, oh, sorry, a spot on one of the sides on the triangle from a line that was perpendicular to that side and going through D. So, let me just highlight here what I'm talking about like we needed to do a little bit of extra work to find that spot right there and but you can see they already did it for us with this line so let's go ahead and just use that so all we got to do to draw the inscribed circle is draw a circle whose center is at D and goes to that point but of course we got to center it at the in center which is right there. And you can see that that blue circle touches all three sides of the triangle and is completely inside the triangle. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, this is another inscribed circle. They're telling us that D is the in center. That means that they already gave us like half the work. But if you notice, this time we don't have that perpendicular line that we need, right? So the one I'm talking about is on the last question, we had a line that went like that, and I highlighted this point right here. We don't have that one. We don't have that line. We have to create it ourselves. Now, they were in the process of creating it. That's what these two circles are for. So what we're going to do is just finish that process. So the first step in that process is to make this circle, and it touches at E and at B. The second step is to create this circle that they just did, but then another circle centered at E, which they haven't done yet. So that's where we're going to continue where they left off. So I'm going to create a circle, same radius as the bigger one, but centered at E. And now you can take the line tool 
and connect the intersections of these two bigger circles. And there's one there, and then there's one over here. Okay. And that gives us that point right there. I'm going to put a point on it right now, right there. That gives us that point that allows us to finally draw the inscribed circle. So we're going to take the circle tool, a circle from the point D, which is the in center, out to the that intersection that we just made, but we're going to center it at D. And so that blue circle in there, the smaller one, let me delete the rest of, of the stuff. So that blue circle right there is the inscribed circle. Okay. So let's um, submit that. I got it right. Okay, this one, they're saying DE is perpendicular. Sorry, is the perpendicular bisector of AC. Construct the circumscribed circle of triangle ABC. Okay, so in this one, they... They gave us a perpendicular bisector, so you should automatically be thinking, okay, this is probably the circumscribed circle. Now, they only gave us one perpendicular bisector, but we need to have two lines to figure out where they intersect. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the perpendicular bisector of another one. Let's do the perpendicular bisector of side BC. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to take the circle tool, draw a circle whose radius goes from C to B, plot it at B. Take another circle, radius goes from B to C, plot it at C. Take the line tool, connect the two points of intersection, and that gives us this intersection over here between these two lines. That is where the circumcenter is. And again, once you construct the circumcenter, constructing the circumscribed circle is pretty easy. You just take a circle centered from there out to any of the vertices. I chose A and plot it at the circumcenter, and that's the circumscribed circle. It touches all three vertices. Okay, that's it for that one. And I'm hoping that they ask for an in center. Okay, cool. So this, this will be the last one that I do. Um, because remember, I already did the ones in the 90s and the 100 where you have to do every step on your own. Okay, so for the for the inscribed circle, you have to... They already gave us the in-center. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to review. Okay. Well, so what we'll do is we'll just perform this last step of finding the inscribed circle. So they already gave us the in-center, but remember, we have to find a spot. Let me, let me draw that out again. We have to find a spot on one of the sides where this, where when you draw a line from the in center out to the side, it makes a 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's review that one more time here. Okay, so you're gonna take the circle tool and you're gonna draw a circle that goes from D that intersects that side, BA, which is the one that I chose for us to do the perpendicular bisector at. Uh, so from D to B, draw a circle there, but centered at D. And notice that it touches the side BA at two places. It touches it at B and then this other spot in the middle, directly below D. Okay, so we have our two places where we're going to center our new circle. So we're going to take the circle tool, going from that point that I just highlighted in blue out to B, plot that circle there. Another circle from B out to that bottom point down there and plot the circle there. And then we're going to take the line tool and connect this spot with the intersection up here. Okay, I hope we did that right. This is where we messed up at the beginning. Okay, and then we're gonna delete these circles. And that spot right there, where that line touches side BA, that should be where we draw our circle out to. So, and let me delete this dot over here, this point over here also, so that just in case I don't select that one when I do the circle. Okay, so circle from D out to that point and center it at D, and that should be the inscribed angle. So that's, um, let's submit it and see. Okay, we got it right. All right, so 
That's it. I think I think we I think this covers enough examples for you guys to be able to get through this. Okay, and we'll be working on it um, in class when you guys come in next time. Okay. <laughs>